Hello, YouTube family. Today, our hearts are heavy yet filled with appreciation as we delve into the lives of the actors from the beloved series One on One from 2001 to 2006. While we revisit the laughter, the drama, and the unforgettable moments, we'll also take a moment to remember those who brought these characters to life. Their performances touched our hearts, and today, we honor their legacy. Before we embark on this journey, I want to invite you to join me in paying our respects. These actors became a part of our lives, and their contributions to the world of entertainment will forever be cherished. Now, grab a seat, get comfortable, and let's dive into the world of one-on-one -on -one and the incredible actors who graced our screens during those memorable years. Join me on this journey of remembrance and celebration. Charlie Murphy. Charlie Murphy played Larry Eldridge in the TV show. Charlie Murphy resided in Tewksbury Township, New Jersey, and shared his life with Tisha Taylor Murphy from 1997 until her passing from cervical cancer in December 2009. The duo welcomed two children, and Murphy had an additional child from a previous relationship. A practitioner of karate, Murphy succumbed to leukemia on April 12, 2017, at the age of 57 in New York City, New York. Born on July 12, 1959, in the Brooklyn borough of New York City, Murphy's mother, Lillian Murphy, worked as a telephone operator, while his father, Charles Edward Murphy, served as a transit police officer, actor, and comedian. During his adolescence, Murphy spent 10 months in confinement. Following his release in 1978, he enlisted in the United States Navy, serving as a boiler technician for six years. In the late 1980s and early 1990s, Murphy undertook minor roles in various films and collaborated behind the scenes with the hip-hop group K-9 Posse, consisting of his half-brother Vernon Lynch Jr. and Wardell Mahone. He assumed the role of executive producer on their 1988 debut album, contributing as a songwriter on tracks like Somebody's Brother and Say Who Say What. Murphy also featured in the music video for their inaugural single, This Beat is Military. His major film debut occurred in the 1993 movie CB4, portraying the antagonist Gusto. Charlie Murphy gained widespread recognition as a recurring performer on Chappelle's show, particularly through the Charlie Murphy's True Hollywood Stories sketches. These sketches detailed his escapades as part of his brother's entourage, recounting encounters with celebrities like Rick James and Prince. Following Dave Chappelle's departure from the show, Murphy and Donald Rawlings hosted the Lost Episodes compiled from sketches produced before Chappelle left. In 2005, he starred in King's Ransom, sharing the screen with Anthony Anderson and Jay Moore. Murphy played the role of Herb, a gay ex-convict hired by King, Anderson, to stage his kidnapping. Additionally, Murphy lent his voice to Budweiser radio commercials, portrayed the character Ed Wunkler III in Cartoon Network's Adult Swim series, The Boondocks, and voiced a character named Jizzy B in Rockstar Games' Grand Theft Auto, San Andreas Video Games. He also provided the voice for Spock in G4TV's Star Trek 2.0 shorts and a dog in his younger brother Eddie's 2007 film, Norbit. Starting on March 20, 2009, Murphy launched his sketch comedy series, Charlie Murphy's Crash Comedy, on Crackle. His stand-up special, Charlie Murphy, I Will Not Apologize, premiered on Comedy Central in late February 2010. Murphy made special appearances in 1,000 Ways to Die and the TBS sitcom Are We There Yet as Frank Kingston. From 2014 to 2015, Murphy took on the role of Vic on the Adult Swim live-action show Black Jesus. Jeanette Dubois. Jeanette Dubois takes on the role of Queen Esther in the one-on-one -on -one television series. Dubois passed away on February 17, 2020, due to cardiac arrest at her residence in Glendale, California. Born Jeanette Teresa Dubois, she hailed from either Brooklyn, New York City, or Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Her parents were Lillian Gowady 
1910-1984, and Gordon Adelbert Dubois, 1915-1960, and she was raised in Amityville, New York, on Long Island. Dubois initiated her acting journey on stage in the early 1960s, making her debut on Broadway with a minor role in the brief play The Long Dream, which had a four-day run in February 1960. She participated in the drama A Raisin in the Sun alongside Louis Gossett Jr., although not in the original Broadway production. Following her appearance in the play The Blacks, in October 1963, she became an understudy for the housekeeper role, originally played by Gertrude Jeanette, in the comedy Nobody Loves an Albatross, running until June 1964. Du Bois then featured in the Broadway musical Golden Boy with Sammy Davis Jr., Billy Daniels, Lola Falana, and Johnny Brown. In the original run from October 1964 to March 1966, Du Bois portrayed Anna, the sister of Davis's character. Du Bois's early television roles include the 1969 TV film J.T., and her portrayal of Loretta Allen on the soap opera Love of Life from 1970 to 1972, marking her as one of the first African-American female regular cast members on a daytime series. Her film debut came with the role of Vera in Diary of a Mad Housewife, 1970. She played Stormy Monday in the 1973 comedy Five on the Black Hand Side and participated in Lanford Wilson's play The Hot L Baltimore the same year. During her tenure in the play, television producer Norman Lear observed Dubois' stage performance at the Mark Taper Forum and was impressed. He cast her in his CBS sitcom Good Times as Willona Woods, the neighbor of the Evans family and best friend to family matriarch Florida Evans, portrayed by Esther Rolla. Dubois was part of the show from February 1974 until its conclusion in August 1979. Du Bois initially joined as a co-star with Rolla and John Amos, who left the show in 1976. In 1977, Du Bois's role gained prominence in the fifth season after Rolla's departure. She resumed her co-starring role when Rolla returned in the sixth and final season in 1978. After the conclusion of Good Times in 1979, Du Bois produced the album Once More, Jeanette Du Bois under her Peanuts and Caviar label, in 1983. She featured in the 1987 Control music video by Janet Jackson, her former co-star from Good Times, portraying the role of Jackson's mother. In 1992, she shared the stage with Clifton Davis in And I Still Rise, a play crafted and directed by Maya Angelou. Dubois had roles in the films I'm Gonna Get You Suka, 1988, and Charlie's Angels, Full Throttle, 2003, and made television appearances in Moshe, The Steve Harvey Show, A Different World, Touched by an Angel, and The Wyans Bros. Throughout the 1980s, Dubois operated the Jeanette Dubois Academy of Theater Arts and Sciences, a performing arts institution for adolescents located on Long Island, New York. In 1992, Dubois, along with Danny Glover and Ayuko Babu, co-founded the Pan-African Film and Arts Festival in Los Angeles. In 1995, she clinched a Cable Ace Award for Best Supporting Actress for her performance in the Lifetime film Other Women's Children. Du Bois received Emmy Awards for her voiceover contributions to the animated series The PJs in 1999 and 2001. Alongside other cast members of Good Times, Dubois was honored with the Impact Icon Award at the 2006 TV Land Awards. In 2000, she assumed the role of Grand Marshal for the North Amityville Community Parade and Festival Day in Amityville, New York. Dubois was bestowed with honorary membership in the Zeta Phi Beta sorority. Dubois entered matrimony with Sajit Gupta in 1950. According to her Brazilian consular document, Dubois finalized her divorce from Gupta by April 1959, although another source suggests she was still wed in 1964. Together with Gupta, Dubois parented four children, Provat Gupta, Rani Gupta, Kesha Gupta Fields, and Raj Christo Gupta, 
who succumbed to cancer in 1987 at age 36. Provat currently serves as a basketball coach in California. In 1959, Dubois engaged in a romantic relationship with actor Brock Peters. Helen Slayton Hughes. Helen Slayton Hughes portrayed Carol in the television series. Helen Slayton Hughes, renowned for her portrayal of Ethel Beavers in Parks and Recreation, has passed away. She was 92. The confirmation of her passing came from her family on Facebook, stating, Helen passed away last night. Her pain has ended, but her fierce spirit lives on. Thank you for the love and support of her and her work. A video compilation shared on the actor's profile conveys, To our cherished Helen, you consistently bring joy to us. Thank you for the love and laughter. You inspired us all by pursuing your dream until the end. Rest now, our dear Helen. We know the laughter will persist wherever you are. The video includes snapshots of Slayton Hughes alongside some of her quotes, such as, The universe is getting ready for a big project, preparing for my departure. Born in 1930, Slayton Hughes earned her inaugural Hollywood credit at 50 debuting in the 1980 film Mafia on the Bounty. Her subsequent roles spanned movies like Shoot the Moon, Good Night and Good Luck, Crazy on the Outside, and Hesher, as well as TV series including New Girl, Brooklyn Nine-Nine, Arrested Development, Rutherford Falls, Fresh Off the Boat, True Blood, That's So Raven, and Parenthood. Number 6. Dave Madden as Reuben Kincaid Reuben's loyalty to the Partridges is steadfast, and they can count on him to manage their careers with unwavering dedication. However, when it comes to discretion or offering advice, Reuben's approach can sometimes be a bit tricky. He may not always excel at keeping secrets or providing the most sage guidance, but his genuine intentions and well-meaning heart make him an endearing and unforgettable character in the Partridge family's adventures. Best known for his role as the Partridge family manager, Reuben Kincaid, Madden first made a splash as a comedian after performing on The Ed Sullivan Show. The actor kept busy with a slew of guest spot gigs and a recurring role on the long-running TV series Alice. Following The Partridge Family, Madden continued his television presence with guest appearances on shows like Fantasy Island and Starsky and Hutch in 1975. His final steady television role was as basketball coach Earl Hicks on Alice in 1976, a sitcom based on Martin Scorsese's 